okay so now i want to know how to read or import a csv file in python using the jupyter notebook so first of all as we have done in our previous tutorial you have to ensure that the pandas library is installed by making use of this code of line we have already installed this so we don't have to run it again then you have to load the library or import the library by using making use of this code of line import pandas as pd pd is just a, um, an abbreviation for this you don't want to make use of all this library you just want to have a shortcut of it right so once you import this i've already imported this so i don't need to run this line again then we have to load the data set so this pandas library basically contains many functions or so the required functions that we can use to import a csv file right but first of all you have to also ensure that this um, csv file is in your current working directory right so if i go to my working directory where i have the um the python source file or the jupyter notebook you can see that i have different data files including the csv file it's, it's supposed to be in the same folder right so once you have done this so we can then load the data set so let me give a name to this data set and say csv underscore data all right so i'm going to use pandas library write pd for pandas and use the function read underscore csv right so the name of the data is data dot c um, csv yeah so that's the extension so i have it here um let me go back sorry okay so i have the data that's the name of the data and it says csv file so once i've done this let's run this okay so it's loading so it's finished so we can look at the head um want to view want to view the first five observations so we're going to say csv underscore data um, dot herd right so let's run this shift enter all right so here we go so we can see the first five observations you can also do the same for the last five so let me copy this all right and paste it here so I want to view the last view the last five observations so i'm going to change this to tail tail yeah run so once you run this you can see the last five observations yeah so let's look at the structure of our data set so structure of data set so i'm going to use um csv data dot info right so once we run this we can look at the structure of our data set we have 30 entries which basically means 30 rows from 0 to 29 and we have three columns right so we have these are the three columns the three variables gender age height gender is basically an object which is basically a character or a string age is an integer and height is a float which is basically numeric right so this is basically how to import or read a csv file in python using the jupyter notebook